Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 44 in chapter 23. Chapter 23 is about electric potential. We can see we have a mental spherical object there, right? The radius is given R0 and it carries a charge Q is given. And also we know we can draw the equal potential surface. And then uh, it is just a 100 volts interval outside of the spherical. So this one, we draw this uh, equal potential surface as this blue circle, right? And the radius is R. And the potential at this equal potential surface, we can write it as V, right? So this V can equal to equal, equals as Q divided by 4 pi epsilon to R. And the potential at the surface of this spherical object is Q divided by 4 pi epsilon to R0. Agree? Now it tells us the potential difference from this equal potential surface with the surface of this spherical object is a 100 volts intervals, so it is 100 times an integral n. Agree? And for simplify, we can write the V as V0 times R0 divided by R to replace this term, right? The Q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught. So this is how we do that. Now you can see we can use the input the V and the V0 inside. We can get the function look like this one. And solve the function, we get R as a function of the N, right? Now, the question asks you, determine the radius R. First case, this is the first uh, uh, equal potential surface. That means the N equal to 1. So we input N equal to 1 inside. We get the answer there. Just input all the given quantities. The second case, N equal to 10, right? This is a 10th equal potential surface. So N equal to 10. So we input the N inside. Input the V0, R0 inside. We get answer there. The next one, the n equal to 100. So still we input the n as 100 inside. So input v0 and r0 inside, get the answer there. Thank you.